Someday I'd like to learn how to dance like that. And I'd like to have shoes like that. Ooh. So would I. Me too. <laughs> They're not like anything you'd see in the neighborhood shoe store. If we made our own shoes, they could be whatever we want. How could we make our own shoes? This looks like a job for... The Barney Bag! Well, I've been looking in my Barney Bag And I found a lot of things Gizmos and gadgets and odds and ends And even some old strings So let's ask ourselves the question What can we make today? With imagination and the Barney bag We'll see what we can make today Yeah, oh. see what we can make today <laughs> mm, I see you're cutting a hole in the top for your foot, right? So after you cut the lid, then you put it back on the box and you tape it, right? Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> it's time to paint. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now it's time to decorate. Okay. Buttons. For wheels, huh? I think you all did a super job on your shoes. Just like real cobblers. What's a cobbler, Barney? Oh, well, cobbler is another name for a shoemaker. And the table where he works is called a cobbler's bench. Oh, so if we're pretend cobblers, this table could be our cobbler's bench, couldn't it? <laughs> it sure could. <laughs> The cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought twas all in fun. Pop goes the weasel. Ooh. All around the cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the Well, first you start with a piece of leather. I brought some today for the play. Would you like me to get it? Well, sure, Julie. Thank you. It's right in here. The shoemaker cuts the leather into pieces and then sews the pieces together to make a shoe. That reminds me. We better start practicing our play about the elves and the shoemaker. Hmm? Good idea. Let's put on our costumes. Hmm? Barney, will you please help us by reading the story? Oh, I'd love to, Min. <laughs> I'll bet Baby Bop and BJ would like to see this. I'll go get them. Oh, great. Oh, this is going to be tremendous. This is the story of the elves and the shoemaker. Oh, All right. <laughs> Once there was a shoemaker who was very nice and worked very hard. But one day he was sad. He only had enough leather to make one more pair of shoes. The next morning, much to his surprise, he found a pair of shoes. Someone had already made them. The shoes were so special, a customer gave the shoemaker enough money to buy leather for two more pairs of shoes. So, that night, he laid out the two pieces of leather. And the next morning, the shoemaker found two pairs of beautiful shoes on his bench. The same thing happened again and again every morning. The shoemaker carefully studied the shoes, and little by little, he learned to make shoes that were almost as beautiful as the ones he found every morning. 
One night, the shoemaker and his wife stayed up very late to see who was making the shoes for them. <laughs> they saw two elves dressed in old, tattered clothing, happily making new shoes. Oh, look at their old clothes. They've been so nice to us. We should make new clothes for them. So, the shoemaker and his wife worked together to make the elves beautiful new clothes. Oh. That night, they left the clothes out for the elves. When the elves found their new clothes, they jumped for joy because it was just what they needed. <laughs> oh, now everyone was happy. <laughs> the end. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. oh, do you like? <laughs> All of you did great. Yeah, thank, thank you. Barney. Thanks, Barney. Yeah, I really like that. <laughs> me too, me too. I wish some elves would make new shoes for me. Oh, that would be cool. But there aren't any elves around here, sissy. It's just a story. Oh. oh come on. Let's go play in the treehouse. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye Bobby Bye. 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 BJ. <laughs> Poor baby Bob and BJ. I wish we had some shoes that would fit them. Yeah, too. Too bad we can't make them shoes like the elves in the story. Hey, that gives me an idea. Maybe we could do something that would make their shoes seem new. Make their shoes seem new? What can we do? Oh, boy. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> hey, where'd everybody go, BJ? Oh, I don't know, sissy. Oh, look, someone left a box. Oh. It says to Baby Bob and BJ. Ooh, a present? Oh, look. Oh, pretty. Wow. Hey, what's that, BJ? It's a poem. Roses are red, violets are blue. Here's something to make your shoe seem like new. Could we help you put the ribbons and shoelaces on? Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> All right. Oh, those are very pretty ribbons. Oh, oh. oh, they're beautiful. My shoes look just like new. Mine, too. Oh, they sure are colorful. Oh, thanks, everybody. Oh, yes, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, there may not be any elves around here, Baby Bop, but there are people who like to do nice things for you, your friends. Oh. I love you, you love me, we're a happy family, with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Oh, thank you, everybody. <laughs> I love you, you love me. We're best friends like friends should be. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Sissy, it's time to go. Okay. Oh, well, bye, everybody. Oh, so bye, long. everybody. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. We sure had fun with our feet today, didn't we? <laughs> you can make silly shoes from shoeboxes just like we did. Or play a shoe store. <laughs> I just love my dancing shoes. Do you have a favorite pair of shoes to wear when you dance? 
There are so many different kinds of shoes, and they always come in twos. We used colorful bows and shoelaces to make Baby Bops and BJ's old shoes very special. You can do the same for yourself or a friend you love. And remember, I love you.